Hello, Peter. Oh, hi, Mark. Hello, and welcome to Small Screen, where we have weekly videos on what's happening with Marvel, DC, all things film, plus news and exclusives. We're giving away two prints and a huge canvas from Snapping Turtle Gallery. All you have to do is make sure to have liked and subscribed and leave a comment with your favorite hero or villain that you would like a print of. Remember, every time you like and subscribe, you make it possible for whales to save the future. Admiral, there'll be whales here. Today we have part two of our Spider-Man No Way Home predictions and theories. If you missed part one, you can check it out by clicking the card at the top right of this video. Okay, theory number one. These are new versions of the Spidey villains. So, we already know that Alfred Molina, Willem Dafoe, and Jamie Foxx are all set to return as their respective Spider-Man villains in No Way Home. However, our theory prediction is that these versions won't be the same as the ones they played in the previous Spider-Man movies. One of the things that makes me think this is, well, both Green Goblin and Doc Ock died at the end of their Spider-Man movies. However, Alfred Molina did say that his character was pulled out right before he drowned. So, subterfuge? Actor PR shenanigans? Or Molina has been doing this for so long he just doesn't give a crap about spoilers? Take it as you will. Also, it looks like Fox's Electro in No Way Home will be shooting yellow lightning bolts, as opposed to the blue ones he had in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And let's not forget the whole point of the Loki series was to introduce the audience to variants. Theory number two, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man will be a darker version of Spidey. The one thing I think might carry on into No Way Home, however, is that Garfield's Peter Parker will be the same as the Amazing Spider-Man movies. I wonder whether he will be, therefore, a much darker version of Spider-Man, almost like a Spider-Man unhinged. I really like the idea of him still grieving the loss of Gwen Stacy and therefore is kind of all over the place. Maybe he's killed some villains and gone really dark. I think it would be interesting for Garfield to explore and also give these Marvel Sony Spider-Man movies another edge. Theory number three, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man will be Tom Holland's Peter Parker's mentor, not Doctor Strange. Say that really fast. Now, Edward went over this a bit in the previous video. I think something's up with Doctor Strange and No Way Home. Go and check out Geekosity's article on it, but to cut a long article short, Doctor Strange could actually be Mephisto or Nightmare in disguise. Therefore, I wonder whether Peter will go into the multiverse in search of help and finds Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. I think he might be in a better frame of mind to help him than Andrew Garfield's Spidey. Wouldn't it be cool if Maguire's Spider-Man gets to mentor Holland's Peter in No Way Home? It would be a bit like what happened in Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. And I like the idea. I also like the idea of seeing past Spider-Man actor get to help the current Spider-Man actor. It's like the Spider-Man franchises have gone full circle and would be a nice way to round off this new Spidey trilogy. Theory number four, Spider-Man No Way Home's trailer is a huge misdirect. I think the trailer is actually misdirecting us completely and has only shown us a fraction of the movie. There's so much already in the trailer and I bet like other trailers, they're just showing us stuff from the first few minutes of the film. This means that there's a whole load of crazy Crazy stuff to come. Also, Tom Holland himself teased this to be the case in his Instagram feed, and he does love spoiling things for us. I wonder if all of these theories and predictions will count for naught when the movie comes out. I would love to see Kevin Feige's face when people watch the movie and then come out of it going, what in the actual F what? did we just watch? That was not the movie the trailer sold us. Theory number five, Scarlet Witch will be the villain in this movie. Now I know many people have been coming up with theories about Mephisto or Nightmare being behind it all. We did the same in the previous video. However, if we've learned one thing from the MCU, it's that Marvel is not going to bring in either character into the MCU just yet. Remember when we got ourselves all hyped up and then it was Agatha all along? I think that Marvel Studios and Sony knows that they can't use Mephisto. With that being said, what Marvel tends to do in situations like this is create a new character that resembles a couple from the comics. Thus, a theory that Doctor Strange is actually Mephisto Nightmare character in disguise, or they bring in another character from the MCU. That character could be Scarlet Witch, aka Wanda Maximoff. James touched on this in his theories from the last video. Given how WandaVision ended, I'm pretty sure she's going to be something of a villain moving forward. And I wonder if we will find out at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home that she was controlling Doctor Strange all along. So this will then lead into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. We know that she's going to be featured heavily in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, so it would make sense for her story to continue here and lead into the Doctor Strange sequel. Anyway, that's enough Spider-Man No Way Home theories and predictions for now. 
Let us know what you thought of them in the comments, and we do read all of them, I swear. And remember to take advantage of our giveaway of two prints and a huge canvas print from Snapping Turtle Gallery. All you have to do is make sure to have liked and subscribed and leave a comment with your favorite hero or villain that you would like a print of. Plus, every time you like and subscribe, you make it possible for whales to save the future. This has been Clint Baker and That James Guy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.